bad boy just stepped in town. The bad boy stepped in town. Ask for me, hop over now. You ain't heard the bad boy came around. Uh, we were the people who came to see. We came to break it down. Cut the lights, cue the sound. See the bodies hit the ground. Them pretty girls be texting. They want to win my stats. They call me futuristic. They think I'm Mr. Jackson. Uh, follow the tour bus. We'll get you to the next show. North Carolina, a picture-perfect afternoon at Bank of America Stadium. Gus Johnson and my broadcast partner, Chris Collinsworth. An exhibition contest here between the Carolina Panthers and New Orleans Saints. The Panthers playing on their home field, and they want to be able to keep this advantage going. As we get ready for this one, Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, and I think you hit on it, Gus, the home field advantage, because these two teams obviously match up very well against each other. So as the home team, you're hoping that you can sort of incite your own fans and get that energy in the building because in a game this close, that well could be the difference. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. Number six gets set to kick it away. He makes it to the 22. Darren Sharper was there for the stop. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. They'll start at the 22-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Gives it right side. He didn't get back to the line. This is an offense that can score on you in a hurry. With this big play threat, veteran wide receiver Steve Smith from Utah is still getting it done. He's just amazing, isn't he, Gus? Usually receivers will lose speed as their careers progress. I know all about that. But Steve Smith can still get down the field fast and burn you deep. Of course, the hands are still there, too. He's been giving a lot of defensive coordinators migraines for a long time. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. The big run gives him another first down and 10. Williams, left side. Linebacker Jonathan Vilma out of the U is starting to become a fixture in the Pro Bowl. Yeah, and beyond his physical skills, Jonathan Vilma is really the heart and soul and mind of this defense. The whole unit feeds off his energy. Of course, it helps that he's one of the best players at his position, too. Good coverage downfield. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Pass ball incomplete. Third down, 11 yards for the first. Ball on the 48-yard line. 
The pocket collapsing. He's brought down around the 26-yard line by Harper. First down, 10 to go. Ball sitting at the 26-yard line. He's looking down the middle. Throws. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw anytime, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off. So they'll face a second and ten. Ball on the 26. Buying time with his feet. Tight coverage and it's picked off. Right, there are some plays that your coaching staff will tell you, listen, we lost. You know when you step back there and hit that back foot, we lost that play. Just don't make it a disaster. Throw that thing away. It's first and ten. And looks left. Throws. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line by Munerlin. And we'll have a first down and 10. No biting on the play fake that time. Wow. The quarterback had no chance on that play. Talk about raw determination by the defender to get into the backfield. Yeah, not a lot of pretense on that play. Huh? He is so strong. It seems like he can bulldoze through these huge offensive linemen almost at will. They're going to need to find a way to double-team him if they ever hope to keep him off their quarterback. And that opens up room for other defenders. Yeah, exactly, and that's another reason why he's so dangerous. You need two guys to shut him down, which allows one of the other defenders to get after the quarterback unblocked. And as we look at the key offensive players, receiver Marcus Colston out of Hofstra is establishing himself as one of the elite receivers in the NFL. Yeah, you're right, Gus. Marcus Colston helps any offense run as effectively as it can. Having the deep threat is vital to this unit. He's a big guy, but he also is just so strong on those underneath patterns. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. It's fourth down. The Saints are lining up to punt this one away. Starting back at his own 15. He gets out to First about the 25-yard line. By the receiving team. Dunbar was there to bring him down. First Hogan down. will be flagged on the play. Starting at their own 13-yard line. Here's the draw. He has space. He's dropped down around the 24-yard line by Shanley. First down and 10. Newton hands it off. He's tackled around the 31-yard line by Greer. Seven-yard gain on the play. And two yards away here on second down. Scrambles away from the rush. Short pass to his left. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. Third 
Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. He's looking towards the left side. He's wrestled down around the 45-yard line by Shanley. From their own 45-yard line. Williams on the handoff. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. we got to make some plays! So it's second down, 14 yards for the first. Ball on their own, 41. He tries to scramble. Passes out to the left. Third down, 14 yards for the first. Ball on their own, 41. Still looking for an open man. Let's it go deep. And so at the end of the first quarter, we're all even. Welcome back to Charlotte. So, it's fourth down. The Panthers lining up to punt. He will start from the 13. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Throws it over the middle of the field. Colston was his intended target. Number 12, the intended receiver on the play. Second down. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Short throw to the left. Drops it, and he was pretty well covered. Thomas was the intended receiver on the play. They take over at the 20. Going for it all over the middle. He's brought down right around the 28-yard line by Godfrey. And the big pickup through the air brings up a first down and 10. Goes through his progression. He fumbles it. And the defense has it. He's got room. And wide receivers are so used to making jukes and moves out there. And sometimes they just get loose with the football. That one's stripped away. And that's a big play. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. First down. 10 to go. Oh. 
Toss. Oh, he's off. There he goes. Burst of speed. Boom, he's gone. D'Angelo Williams is really becoming such a complete player, but I think the thing that makes him unique is his ability to create the big play. His explosiveness and his speed really sets him apart. And the point after is good. Carolina is ready to kick this one off. Number 15 stands back to field the kick. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. The offense will start at the 20. It's first and 10. Throws it deep down the left side. He drops the easy pick. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Throws to his left. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line by Brayton. And from their own 34-yard line. Looking. Fires it to the left. Henderson was the intended receiver. And from their own 34-yard line. Look out, heavy pressure on him. He gets the sack, and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> he delivered a perfect swim move, and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will. And he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And it didn't look like the quarterback even saw him coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still going to get sacked. Searching for an open man. Drew Brees, it appears, is human after all. It's not very often we see him overthrow a receiver like that. Fourth down. The Saints are lining up to punt it away. Munerlin takes it at the 25. The stop was made by Gay. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. Williams gets the carry. And the tackle was made by Jonathan Vilma. Gets maybe a couple. It's second down and nine to go. So the ball on their own 30. Here comes the heat. 
No time to throw. They didn't fall for the fake. Seven yard loss on the play. Looking for a man. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. Moore will take off at the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Munerlin was there for the stop. Dumps it out right. Chris Gamble was there to bring him down. Screen passes like that are real confidence builders for the quarterback. They get a completion, a nice little gain, and they know they're not going to get hit. Inside handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Thomas Davis was there for the stop. And we're at the two-minute warning. The NFL on EA Sports will continue after this word from your local station. Fires a strike to the right. He picks it off. Watch out, he's got space. And he's running with a purpose now. They can't catch him. He reverses field. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. And Gus, I always thought defensive penalties were so much more deflating than offensive penalties. You know, as an offense, you get a chance to make up for it. On defense, though, usually it's big yardage and automatic first down. Has a man short to his left. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. Thomas gains about five yards on the play. Flips it out short to his left. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. Dumps it out left. And there's no question about it. One of the keys to this quarterback's play is his accuracy. And in the NFL, with all the tight coverage, you have to be accurate.
has a man to his right. The pass falls incomplete. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. And looks left. Throws. Picked off. The defense comes up with a huge play in the end zone. Wow. He closed on the ball quickly and came up with the interception. Yeah, he took a risk going for the ball there because he didn't have any help behind him. But when you're that good at closing and attacking the ball, you can certainly afford to gamble occasionally. And it's amazing what talent will let you get away with. Good coverage downfield. He rolls out to his right. The Panthers aren't looking all that sharp at all right now in the passing game. And I know it's still early, but they have to be getting a little frustrated with their inability to attack this defense. Buying time with his feet. Loads up, looking to his right. Big yardage on the catch, and they'll push him out of bounds. And it will come back. Penalty on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Surveys the field. Looks right. Throws. The stop was made by Malcolm Jenkins. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now, they have the defense on their heels. He's searching for a receiver. He tipped the ball away. Smith was his intended target. Scrambles away from defenders. He's dropped down at about the 35-yard line by Porter. Still looking for an open man. Wants the end zone! Smith was the intended receiver on the play. Goes through his progression. It's almost picked off. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. Searching for an open man. Going for the home run. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. He's wrestled down at about the 19-yard line by Jansen. He missed it, left it short.
The halfback with the carry. They tackle him for a loss. And we've come to halftime here. The score at the halfway mark is 7 nothing. Welcome back to Charlotte. Get your money, whip your head. It looks like we're just about ready for the second half kickoff. He'll down it in the end zone. Short throw to the left. The pass is Drew Brees takes a lot of pride in his precision as a thrower. He's one of the most accurate passers in the game, so seeing him underthrow a ball like that's pretty rare. Looking for a man. Throws middle of the field. And the tackle was made by John Beeson. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. On the ground, up the middle. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Terrell McLean was there to bring him down. Has a man out to his right. The stop was made by Chris Gamble. Boy, and the quarterback got away with one there because that was tight coverage, but his guy just did what he's been doing all season long, and that's going up and making a tough play. Here's the give. And the tackle was made by Thomas Davis. Six yard pickup. Gain of six on the play. Throws to his right. Charles Johnson was there for the stop. The Saints are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Coverage downfield. Another catch on this drive. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. Breeze hands 
it off. The Saints have to be frustrated with their lack of running success in this game. I mean, how many times can you get beat like that and still keep trying to hand the football off? They go with the run. He didn't get back to the line. The Saints continue to get beat off the ball. Their linemen look tired. They're physically outmatched. And it's beginning to take a toll on these runners. I'm not sure how many more times they want to carry the ball. Surveys the field. Deep pass. Enzo. It's tipped away. Great defense. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down. And you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. And this one will bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. And they already have the lead. This field position could set them up to put even more points on the board. He's searching for a receiver. Steps and throws to the left side. Malcolm Jenkins was there to bring him down. Well, that's an example of a very good play against pressure. They were coming after him, but the quick throw beat him. Pitch right between the tackles. Running strong downfield. Can he get there? Feet don't fail me now. D'Angelo Williams didn't exactly explode on the scene in the NFL, but now that he has become a little more settled in the league, we're starting to see some of the explosive plays that he's known for. Casey tacks on the extra point. So, time winding down in the third with the score. The Panthers, 14. The Saints, nothing. Lloyd will be kicking off. Number 15 is back to receive the kick. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Still looking for an open man. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. Colston was the intended receiver. Takes the give. Goes through his progression. There he goes. Racing toward the end zone. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line by Godfrey.
He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. Number 31. Right the four. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. The Panthers, 14. The Saints, nothing. Welcome back to Charlotte. The Saints start this fourth quarter in excellent field position and can make it a one possession game if they get in for six. The stop was made by John Beeson. The offensive line just hasn't opened up many holes for him. He's really having a tough time out there. He's looking towards the left side. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. The kick is... So the score now, the Saints, three, the Panthers, 14. New Orleans gets ready to kick it away. Goodson is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And the tackle was made by Dunbar. He tries to scramble, moves to his right. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. That was a rocket throw right there. And I tell you, uh, you always hear about just how strong this guy's arm is. And boy, there it was on display. Searching for an open man. And he's knocked out at the 32-yard line. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to the man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. Passes out to the left. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that ball. Williams on the give. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover quarterback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. Buying time with his feet. The pass is tipped away. King was his intended target. it off 
The stop was made by Danny Clark. They go with a no huddle. Five yard gain on the play. Here comes the heat. And he's hit as he lets go of the ball. Turnover on down. right yeah you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man and that time the defense is big men they won the battle i can't believe they just let that happen how do you give up a safety in that situation unbelievable Number six will line up for the free kick following the safety. Kawika Mitchell was there for the stop. off to the right he's dropped down at about the 35 yard line by Shanley up the middle and the tackle was made by Danny Clark. Number 34. Three yards the there. Barrier on the play. Gain of three. And they'll run him again. He's brought down right around the 46-yard line by Dunbar. And with that, the two-minute warning is reached. Williams, the ball carrier. Will Smith was there to bring him down. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Williams, again. The Saints will take their second time out of the half. Scrambles away from defender. He's dragged down on the play. Wow, he looked like a cyclone down there getting to the quarterback. It is impressive when a guy that big is that nimble on his feet. He makes it look so easy, and it seems like he's past the offensive lineman as soon as the ball snapped. Tough to stop. I'm just amazed he kept his balance. Yeah, you know what's so incredible? He's running full speed and still has the agility to spin around the lineman, gather himself, and get to the quarterback. Just great athleticism. Loss of 10 on the play. The 
Goes into the end zone for a touchback. I don't know. I don't see any way in the world they're going to be able to pull this one out. I mean, maybe if they had a little more time than possibly, but this is going to take a couple of miraculous plays if they're going to pull this one out. Throws to his left. The pass falls incomplete. Ingram was the intended receiver on the play. it over the middle of the field and he's tackled around the 23 yard line by Godfrey about three yards on the play really nowhere for the wide receiver to go on that one I'm not sure if the quarterback realized it was man coverage on that play John Beeson was there for the stop patience for a wide receiver is just so key he's able to manipulate that defense set him up one play come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next beautifully run Looking for a man. The pocket collapsing. Makes the catch, and he's dropped. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. Coverage downfield. He avoids the rush by stepping up into the pocket. A gain of six. They hurry to the line. He loads up for the deep throw. Bolston was the intended receiver. Wants the end zone. It is an incomplete pass. Surveys the field. He's going to his right. Throws. And for some reason, they pass the ball, and that will stop the clock. I'm not sure what they were thinking. Well, just about the time you were thinking they were going to try and run this clock out, they go out and they're aggressive, but now the clock stops. He's searching for a receiver. Looks left. Loads it up.
They go with the kneel down. That's going to wrap up the action. Highlights are straight ahead. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.